Women and inclusion dominated the conversation at the Producers Guild Awards in Los Angeles last night. The projects driven by women also dominated the winners of the awards. And Yellen Adzik is here to explain why. So who took home the hardware? We're going to talk about Shape of Water yet again, John. This is a movie that is certainly, it's gotten so much critical acclaim, and that's the one that won the big top award last night. Now, Guillermo del Toro, this is the director of that particular film, he wasn't there. His father is not well, and he decided to be with his father in Mexico instead of attending, but he sent a message through one of the actors just to say, this is dedicated to my parents, whom I love, and to my children. I hope that they'll be there for there for me in the future too. It was it was quite a special moment. So that is a movie that stars a woman, Sally Hawkins. It is a, a character and a role that she plays entirely without words. She is a woman who is mute and uh, she can hear, but it is a, a character that you just don't see very often in lots of other mainstream films, much less the fact that the central character is a woman. Same goes with the central figure that we see on the TV side of things. So the one that won the top award there, Handmaid's Tale, some good Canadian connections to both of the movies I just mentioned. The first one was Sean Toronto, Handmaid's Tale, of course, based on the novel by Canadian Margaret Atwood. So, yeah, it is uh, one of those times that you see the Producers Guild really focusing on stories about women. And another guild, uh, the Screen Actors Guild, <laughs> yes. their awards tonight, and again emphasis on women. Yeah, once again, and, and it's interesting because, John, in this particular case, tonight we're going to see only female presenters. They haven't really done that before. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a listen right now to Elizabeth McLaughlin. This is a woman who is on an inclusion committee to try and increase diversity and women, uh, the representation in film. Have a look. We came up with the premise of having all women back in November and we we're just so excited that this seems to be the, the topic of the times. I mean, I think that it's very telling that, you know, the Time's Up movement and the Me Too movement are also so, um, so timely with our show. And we're just delighted that these, these strong, amazing women are coming together to fight the injustices.